goal uh, is to create a simple user interface which can allow users to generate and launch Jupyter notebooks containing interactive analyses of biomedical data sets. For those of you who are not familiar with Jupyter, um, so Jupyter notebooks are a, an open source web application which allow users to create and share documents that contain live code, interactive plots and visualizations, as well as narrative text to explain the steps in the pipeline. So the idea is that uh, within a single document, a programmer can, can build a pipeline which is reusable um, and also easily um, comprehensible by also um, I'd say experimentalists or people who are not necessarily um, experienced in coding. And so the idea is that it'll contain all the information necessary to run and understand uh, an analysis pipeline of a biomedical data set. So the overall workflow for this project is that we aim to generate a simple user interface where users can select the data, the tools, and configure the analysis that they want to generate. And this step will generate a JSON object, uh, which contains all the necessary information to configure this notebook. And by then sending this JSON configuration to a notebook generation API, the user can obtain this custom tailored Jupyter notebook, containing an analysis of a computational, of a biomedical data set of choice. And this Jupyter notebook is then sent to the Google Cloud Storage bucket, and is made available to users through a permanent public URL rendered as an HTML page. And also in the future, we also aim to allow users to launch the notebook interactively to uh, allow him or her to reuse uh, and to reanalyze the data. So currently this project is under development and one of the latest uh, functionalities that we provided is the Chrome extension. The Chrome extensions are very simple and lightweight plugins which can be installed for free from the Google Chrome Web Store on your Chrome browsers. And these embed functionalities within websites in order to improve user performance and to improve user experience. So this specific uh, Chrome extension enhances the website of a Gene Expression Omnibus. The interface shown here is the uh, search results page for a specific data set on the Gene Expression Omnibus. So the result, uh, for example, in this case, we searched for a data set which measures gene expression changes in human melanoma cell lines compared to primary melanocytes. And so the Chrome extension adds this button below the search results uh, that users can click on. And this allows users uh, with little to no computational knowledge to start generating a customized analysis notebook of the data set. So the first part involves selecting uh, some data analysis and visualization tools that the users want to include in the notebook. So in this case, we provide several pre-configured tools, such as exploratory data analysis tools, differential expression, enrichment analysis, and small molecule queries. And so we already provide a pre-selected set of tools. So once the user has selected the amount and the specific tools that he wants to incorporate, he can then click on Next. And so then in the following part, uh, the user is required to input a signature. So to define a set of control samples and a set of treatment samples uh, for the data set. So in this case, for example, we can select um, three samples which are the control group and three samples which are um, generated from metastatic melanoma cell lines. And the user can also name the groups uh, by using the interface below. So in this specific case, we'll compare control samples to metastatic samples. We can then click on Next, and this allows us to review uh, optional parameters uh, to generate the analyses. Uh, and finally, by clicking on Generate, the user can obtain a notebook containing an analysis of the data set. So then by clicking on Open, we are redirected to this public permanent URL hosted on the Google Cloud. And finally, we can have our analysis notebook. So this is, again, uh, served as a Jupyter file. So it contains the source code used to generate the analysis, as well as description and text annotations to help 
users understand what is actually happening in the pipeline. So for example, here we can see how the data set is loaded. So here we have uh, gene expression data for over 30,000 genes and the 18 samples in the data set. Uh, we also provide um, information about sample metadata. So in this case, we can see uh, the cell type of the samples. Uh, so we have normal melanocytes and metastatic cells. And then the rest of the notebook contains interactive visualizations and plots such as a PCA, uh, heat maps to explore the data, um, bar charts showing the library sizes, uh, summaries of the differential expression analysis, including links to external databases, which contain information about genes. Um, we have interactive volcano plots showing the results of the differential expression, um, pathway enrichment analysis, and several other analysis tools. Um, and so the idea is that a user which is interested in rerunning the analysis itself can simply download the IPython notebook file, the Jupyter notebook file, and rerun it on his local machine. And in the future, we also aim to implement a cloud-based system to allow users to launch these uh, on the cloud and to reuse them and rerun them without necessarily having to use their own computational resources. So this is pretty much it. Uh, I'd like to thank you for your attention, and if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them.